hopes for a living. Right. Good evening, Switlick families. We are so excited to have you here this evening to hear our fifth grade choral performance. They have done a phenomenal job with this concert. They sound like a professional chorus. I can't even tell you. You're going to love the music sessions, and you will probably all be singing along because you won't be able to help yourselves. Um, please, as a reminder, um, if you could please hold your applause until the end of the songs so the students don't get distracted while they're singing, that would be awesome. And they've worked really, really hard, and I know you're going to be very proud of them. Mr. Morgan? Hi. That's a lot of kids. I never realize how many kids it is until they come up here single file. That takes a long time. So. Welcome to our fifth grade concert. I'm super excited. I know they're super excited. They have so much nervous energy going on right now. I love it. Um, I'm sure you heard them back there. That's just all energy. They're super excited to be up here. We got to do our in-school concert yesterday and it was incredible. Um, we are going to be starting off our show with talking about three things, two of them that were in your program and one other that's really important. JTV is going to be shooting tonight's show and selling DVDs to take home with you right after the show ends. DVDs will be $15 and will be ready in about 10 to 15 minutes after the conclusion of the concert at the table just outside the auditorium. The concert will also be streaming live tonight on JTV's YouTube channel so that people that couldn't make it can go now to www.jtvlive.org right now or watch it on Cablevision channel 77. Now, one real cool thing about this is I think my favorite story about it was probably about three or four years ago, I had a student who has family in India and his grandparents were able to watch the entire concert live from India, so from across the world. So it's really cool to be able to do that. So once again, if you want to text it to any family members that want to see it, it is jtvlive.org. Inside of your program, there are two flyers, both very important. Blue one says, save the date. Every year, we wind up getting our fifth graders to be able to perform at a Blue Claws game. They get to perform the Star Spangled Banner. This year, it's going to be on June 1st. So please mark it in your calendars. We'd love to have all participation. In the past, we've had anywhere from 40 kids up to 80 kids participate. But as you can see, this is a big group. And they'll let us take as many kids as we want. So 
Uh, mark that in there. And final thing is that tonight, it's actually a perfect night for it because it's not too cold out there. Uh, we have a fundraiser for our Switlick PTN that is right down the road over at Four Boys Ice Cream. Whatever you purchase over there, you will get 20% will go right to the PTN. Just make sure that you bring your flyer and let them know that you're with the chorus. We're going to get started today with a song called Seize the Day. This is from a Broadway musical called Newsies. I remember growing up and there was a Disney movie of the Newsies, which I always got hooked into, but when it became a Broadway musical, kind of got even better. So enjoy, seize the day. Great show opener. I love the energy in that one too. Uh, so as you're going to notice in our concert, we kind of do some loud, move to some softer, slower, back to some loud, have a nice little combination. And the one that we're moving into is a song by Grace Vanderwall, which if any of you watch America's Got Talent, she was the winner a few years ago. She was about that big playing the ukulele, uh, got the golden buzzer, and wound up going all the way straight through to the finals and winning the entire show, which was great. And it's a song called I Don't Know My Name.
So every year, one of the things that I do in the beginning of our chorus, which is in September, I wind up asking everybody to start thinking about songs that they would like to be able to do for chorus. Because it shouldn't just be about me picking songs, it should be about them picking. When they've got some buy-in, it tends to help a whole lot because they wind up singing the songs even better because they're happy about them. So this is one of those. It's a song called High Hopes by a group called Panic at the Disco. It's a little more intense than your typical chorus song, but they really pull it off quite nicely.
another great message in that song. So many of our songs, I pick them and I don't even realize the message until we're halfway through and I'm like, ooh, that kind of goes nicely. So many songs that we can use for anti-bullying stuff at school, really nice. So what's gonna happen now is that um, every couple years, I get someone that comes up to me or a parent that asks me or a different teacher that asks me about a child that's in chorus that plays a certain instrument and is interested in being able to perform for the entire audience, which is a really, really hard thing to do. Uh, this year, one of our students, Kira Pondork, has been taking lessons with Mrs. Gamolko, which is one of our former music teachers. She, uh, lucky her, she retired last year, uh, but she's still teaching some piano lessons. So we're gonna invite Kira down over to the piano. Please enjoy her version of Cockles and Muscles. Like I said, not an easy thing to do, especially, luckily for them, they can't really see you guys that there's over 500 people that are out there because these lights are a little blinding to them. Uh, but one more round of applause for Kira. Nice job, Kira. All right, so now we get to the fun, crazy one. Uh, several people, when I was asking about suggestions for songs, recommended a few songs from Queen. Uh, and Queen has always been popular, always been one of my favorites, uh, but kind of got a new resurgence a couple years ago with the movie Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to do a medley of Queen songs. You're going to hear four different Queen songs in there, and you're going to experience a, a little craziness. Let's just leave it at that.
Okay, so we're now going from our craziness, which is fun craziness, and we're going to really, really tone it down a bit. I found a song that I had never heard before, which is kind of hard, I know a lot of songs, and it was a song by a group of 90 kids that are Broadway stars right now. Uh, and they're a group that create, they were created and they called themselves Broadway Against Bullying. And they created a song called I Have a Voice. It is a super slow, incredibly moving, meaningful song, and it was the first song that we did in chorus. Typically, I lead chorus off with something to get them pumped up and excited about chorus. And this one, we watched a video that was about this, and it shocked me that there was buy-in with this song from the beginning. And that's not an easy thing. When we have fifth graders that can feel a song, and they can show the emotion that's in this song, I guarantee you guys are going to love it. Here's our song, I Have a Voice.
So, 18 years of teaching music, and that one is by far my favorite song that as a group has ever done, and they did an amazing job on that song. And now we move into our final song. We get to go from our really slow into our nice, fast, fun combination of some country and some rap with Carrie Underwood and Ludacris singing a song called The Champion.
boys and girls. You seized the evening. You rocked the house. You were awesome. Another round of applause for our fifth graders. Good evening, parents, grandparents, and guests. As the proud principal of the Switlick Elementary School, I have many perks as the principal. I get to be with your children during the day more than you do. Every Tuesday, I get to listen to this. One of the biggest perks as the principal is that I get bragging rights. Boys and girls, you are all champions to me. You did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. <laughs> Parents, they don't always follow the rules, but this is a very, very nice group of children. You should be very proud of them because I know that we are very proud of them as well. Another, on another note, as bragging rights, I also get to brag about our teacher. And what's really great about it is that Mr. Morgan has no idea what I'm going to say. So that is a nice perk for me. When he mentioned Mr. Morgan works with 140 talented children, 40, hour, 40 minutes for only 15 days. I am a true believer that you are only as good as your leader, Mr. Brian Morgan. When I came in this evening, I wasn't sure who was more excited. The children, or are you the audience? I have to say I didn't recognize all of them because they look really, really spiffy this evening. I would like to thank all of you for sharing your children with us. I would like to thank you for coming this evening. And before I give the microphone back to Mr. Morgan, please drive safely home. Have a great rest of the evening. Thank you all, and it's because of all of them that I say all the time, and my wife hears it all the time, I have the best job in the world. I get to have fun all the time, and I get to hang out with these guys, which is so much fun. Thank you for what you guys do with them. They're absolutely incredible kids. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna stand still for a minute. Our PTN's gonna take a quick picture of the group. After they take a picture, I'll let you know, and they'll stay frozen if you wanna come up and get a shot of them as well. So if our PTN, over there, thank you.